want to thank Pixar and Matt Nolte for allowing Matt to sit down for an interview with us. And now I'm here with Enrique. We've both seen The Good Dinosaur now, and we're going to review the film, so here we go. All right, so obviously I'm a huge, huge Pixar fan. So before I bring that, you know, energy into the room, Enrique, what did you think of The Good Dinosaur? I thought it was really good. And like, I, I, I don't want to say I was surprised because it was good because I, I trust Pixar and like they have been good over more than the times they have not been good. But the movie has been pushed back a lot. But in the end, <laughs> I, I loved the movie we got. I thought it was really good, really, really well done. It looked amazing and it just made me feel good. It's a really good family movie. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this movie did get pushed back in release dates. It had a director change, but that's not the first time Pixar's done it. Um, mm. Brave, Ratatouille, Toy Story 2, all movies that had directors, a director switch, and... Um, two and of them are good. It, <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, well, that's a different debate. Um, but, so I, I don't know what the previous version of the film is, but this version of the film I really, really thoroughly enjoyed. Um, yeah. The... The general plot structure of it is is definitely the kind of plot structure that we've seen from Pixar a lot. It works for them, not complaining at all. Um, but this movie, in every other aspect, is totally unique. Um, and I think it's so, so unique to the point that audiences are either going to buy into it or they're not going to buy into it. The movie starts out showing you a patasaurs farming, okay? And it's like, and it doesn't stop to be like, are you okay with this audience? No, it, it just goes right into it. If you buy it, great. If not... But it doesn't feel jarring. Like, the way they present it, it doesn't feel like, oh, this is something weird. It just feels like this is something that is okay in this world. I totally agree. And they do a really good job of, like, using the dinosaur body structure yeah. to uh, do different farming things. And it's just very clever and detail-oriented how they do that. Because um, in this world, obviously, the asteroid passed over, so it's a completely different world. So we have these farming dinosaurs, and we have cowboy T-Rexes. It's so out there. I think it mostly works. There's one scene that I think is really funny, but like really took me out of the movie, when um, uh, Spot and Arlo eat fermented uh, grapes and end up getting <laughs> drunk. Yeah. And it's like, there are that moments like weird. that in the movie that just to don't really fit. And so I feel like sometimes it's so out there that it's at its detriment, but I, I appreciate that they went there. And like, it's good that they take risks, because if it was a simple movie, we would complain that it's simple. So sure. if, if it takes risks and some of them don't pay off, it's okay. Yeah, and this movie, like any other Pixar movie, has, you know, it's Pixar cry moments. Oh. This movie has three of them in particular. We can't really explain them without spoiling, spoiling it, but... Uh, One of them will get boy. you. Uh, at least one of them. Yeah, it, if not all of them. And and it never feels manipulative, at least to no, me. No, yeah, to me, me neither. I always felt it felt natural progression in the story and just something that happened in this character's story. And speaking of characters, the characters, the two main characters were so well done. Mm -hmm. And especially, like, Spot, he doesn't speak a word, but every time I look at him, every time they show him, I know exactly what's going through his head. And that's, that's amazing. Absolutely. Pixar has always been... Unique characters is, I think, what what makes me love Pixar so much. Is th there's nothing like you compare these characters to Woody and Buzz, and the only similarity is that they're friends. True. Like, it's such a, and, and I think that I think that's great. Um, so on the pretentious film majors five star rating, Enrique, what do you give the Good Dinosaur? Four out of five stars. Four out of five stars. It's a great movie. Yeah, it's, it's a great movie. Really, it's uh, I, and it, uh, in my kind of, I think it's like middle of the road, like towards the yeah, top. Yeah, that's, that's how I feel. Like it's too. not like the best Pixar, and, and it's not even middle. It's like uh, yeah, like it's there. like yeah, it's a you little know what I mean? over the, the yeah, middle. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm also giving this movie four. Uh, I'm giving this four what? drunk dinosaurs out of five. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. For more on the pretentious film majors, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.